The pre-Crystal Creations game update brought two new big bugs and a lot of broken mods. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. So I'm going to cover that and I'm also going to cover a little bit about the Crystal Creations pack. First off, the Sims Direct tweeted, Simmers, a free Sims 4 base game update is available now across all platforms. This update addresses numerous top issues reported by the community, including for rent issues, saving errors, and more, and then read all about it in today's patch notes. They then, a little while afterwards, tweeted this, with this patch, please remember to remove any external game mods and custom content as they may conflict with this update. And that is because of something that they made, a change they made, in the patch notes, but we're not going to actually talk about the patch notes right now. We're going to talk about this tweet from The Sims. Grab your crystals and get ready for The Sims Crystal Creations Developer Gameplay Walkthrough tomorrow, Wednesday, February 28th at 11 a.m. Pacific, and it's on The Sims YouTube. It's also going to be on The Sims Twitch. I did mention that in my important dates this week, but now it's already set up as a premiere on YouTube. Somatically got um, a leak of the create a sim items, which you can see here. I'm not going to focus on it too much because obviously you're going to see it tomorrow in that live stream, but I just thought I would show it. And also the build by preview, um, which is a lot less than what you're seeing in the create a sim, but I'm expecting that there is a lot of debug things since there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be crafted. So I wouldn't read too much into that, but that's all I really wanted to share with respect to that. I will have links to everything down below. Actually, I'm going to have a blog post with links to everything because there's so many links. So, but that blog post will be linked down below. So for the first bug, the social menu is not appearing for certain Sims, and this is not a mod issue. This is happening to people on console. This is happening to people with no mods in their game. There's a lot of speculation on this thread, which at the time I got this screenshot, there were 16 pages of comments already and 212 people from a brand new bug had already added a Me Too to it. I haven't actually updated my game. That's why I don't have a Me Too on there because I'm a little bit concerned that this could affect some of my Sims. It doesn't affect all Sims. In most cases, it seems like it just affects some Sims. They don't know what. There was a thought it was from Get Famous, but people are having it without Get Famous. There's a thought that it's somehow tied to the old Seasons bug that got fixed. They don't know right now from what I can gather, but EA is very much aware of it. They commented that they're aware of it and they're looking into it, but I'm a little bit hesitant to update my game because of this bug um, and the fact that a lot of mods broke though a few have been updated, but I'll get to that later. So the other bug is that we haven't got to the patch notes yet, but in the patch notes this is referred to, there was an in-game task launch for select players featuring a new cart button, which is on the top right-hand corner. I will show a screenshot after. But based on reported issues, some players will find a resolution to the continuous flashing because that's what it does by restarting the game. But I don't think that's working for everybody. And there is a bug report for it. And I had a friend that said that they clicked on the little spot and it made it go away. So here's from the Sims community. They had a little video clip, but I just grabbed a screenshot. But you can see the um, little uh, icon that's pulsating there, I guess. Not the gallery one. I think it's the one beside it that looks like a shopping cart. But as I said, I don't know if I would have it anyways, because it's only being rolled out. Not everybody got it. But uh, if you did, go head over to this bug report, which has, at the time that I got this, 194 people have had the problem and eight pages of comments on that one. So pretty even par for par in terms of the number of people who it's affecting. So especially since this has only been rolled out like to a select audience, whereas the other one is anyone could have got it depending on their bug in their game. So now we're going to talk about the actual update notes. So it was a most sparkling update. Seems to me it was a kind of most broken update because those are two big issues. Because if you have sensitivity issues to like things like pulsating, that could be a pretty big issue for you if you can't get it to go away. But the other one with the social menus makes those sims kind of unplayable from what I can gather. So here are 
the first page of the update notes and uh, the what's new. This was the only thing that was new that was in the update notes and that was that cart emblazoned button has many uses ranging from sharing pack offers and sales information to recommending packs you might be interested in all accessible without leaving the comfort of your Sims home. The feedback I am seeing is people don't want that. They want to go and play their game and they don't want that, which I can understand. I wouldn't really want it either. It's on your main menu. You don't need to have it in the game. And it's even more made worse by the fact that it's pulsating for many people who have it. This doesn't indicate that it was just being done on a test basis, but I had already seen before the Sims Direct made that tweet that I guess in some of the other language patch, no, patch notes that when they were um translated that it did say that there but we do know that from the sims rect note so we're going to go on and talk about some of the bug fixes i did take a look and try to compare this to what was on the laundry list and it did look like everything here was on the laundry list and when i looked at ea answer headquarters it looked like things were all marked as closed but of course sometimes they just close them and if you have a issue they say to create a new bug report but I haven't noticed these as new bug reports having been set up after these were closed. And I mean these, I mean all of the bug fixes that are noted here. So I guess there was an issue that Sims wouldn't cook, finish cooking their meal, and they wouldn't give you any indication what was wrong, but now they should. Reward traits obtained through the reward store will no longer be allowed to be purchased multiple times, so yay for that. Scenario tooltips updated for clarity. I don't remember that in the laundry list. Uh, stab in the back. Moodlet text updated for grammar clarity. Gain, I don't remember that. Here's the one that broke a lot of mods. There was something else that broke mods, and I'm not going to talk about this too much because when I go to loose list from the EA Answer Headquarters mod post, she talks about this a little bit too, but there was a fix for mod creators, and... I'll just actually say it now. What she says is that this caused an issue when they had this in the past. And so the modders fixed their mods. And now they, they fix this that is causing last exception. So that particular aspect is more, I think it's just more an LE that doesn't really do anything. But the modders are trying to fix and get rid of that. But there is some other issues too. So for console, there was a uh, toggling wall tile placement types is once again possible on controllers. Hopefully that is actually fixed. And that was on the laundry list. And then there was a crash on Xbox um, with stability improvements that wasn't on the laundry list. Some I remember, some I'm not gonna know for sure. There were some things for the gallery server that had to do with um, reported comments shouldn't reappear when restarting your Sims 4 client. And then they tweak some settings on the profanity filter checks to address some of the reports. And then they have a survey there, which is linked. I won't be linking to the survey, but I'll be linking to the patch notes in my blog post. That'll be linked below. So you can get to it like that if you want to. And maybe it's on the main menu. I don't know. I haven't updated my game. So cats and dogs, uh, some uh, cats and dogs, they've updated the descriptions of a few breeds. Seasons, that uh, seasons bug fix is supposed to be fixed, according to this. And also, you can now fish in cold, windy and cloudy, windy weather conditions. Those two, I remember, were definitely on the laundry list. And then Get Famous, and this is why I think a lot of people think that the social menu was tied to either the holidays or to having fame, because they've now say you can safely use this game settings to opt out of fame without having any impact on NPC sims bonding to in to visit community lots and then eco lifestyle fridges using ice that are off the grid will no longer drain power which i remember um the seasons get famous and eco lifestyle were all on the laundry list now for rent so this is a few fixes um a couple weren't on the laundry list but the big bigger issues were. So rental incomes, additional information has been added on several relevant UI screens to more clearly communicate how rent for all un owned units will be collected by the end of the week, along with any taxes or bills due. I think there was a bug report where people thought they weren't getting their funds, their rent, but it was more a matter of it wasn't necessarily when people were expecting it. I'm thinking that's what that is. Uh, so they fixed a couple of the um, error code things. So the save error 403, et cetera. So it said it combined fixes, which aim to resolve current saves and prevent this error happening on future saves. So that's actually pretty good because a lot of times they don't, 
to have things fix current things that it only fixes going forward. So fingers crossed. And there's more details there. So the Nazi Lamac has a more accurate model to represent this delicious dish and the previous visual dish has been added as a new recipe, coconut rice. And you should no longer experience situations where you can get stuck on residential rental lot types. So if that is true, that would be good because I know that was a really big issue where you couldn't change it away from the residential rental lot type. And it also includes error code 102 and 122. One was live mode, one was build mode, I think. And that should no longer occur on load. So the Toomerang world map screen will load without last exception errors. And then there are a couple of other things that were more minor that I don't remember being on the laundry list. And Dream Home Decorator. Sims will no longer be stuck on clients' lots after completing a home decorator gig. I know there were issues with that, so hopefully that means that uh, career is playable again. And because I think it was pretty unplayable as it was. So, and Home Chef Hustle, there's a few there. So it was about the Sims eating the leftovers. The prepped ingredient says leftovers. That was on our laundry list that it was supposed to be fixed. It's here. Uh, they've tuned the frequency of fires that will start when cooking with the pizza oven and the waffle maker. So it's not turned it off, but it's tuned down, hopefully. And then plain waffles are totally vegetarian. So that Sims with the vegetarian trait shouldn't have the violating principles moodlet anymore. And then there were a couple of other ones that I don't remember being on the laundry list there. And then, of course, the goth galore with that goth hoodie that shouldn't enlarge the eyes of the female sims while it's worn so those are the things and that particular one was also on the laundry list so now i'm just going to talk a little bit about mods and the impact of mods so if you don't use mods obviously this part doesn't matter for you so i'll say now let me know if you've experienced any of the issues that i have mentioned i'd love to know in a comment down below and if you're still excited to watch the live stream or i will do an overview I hope to on the live stream and have that out tomorrow I'd love to know about that but now I'm going to talk about the mod impact so this is just an overview about what's in the thread and essentially saying you're responsible for your mod use make up you make sure you back up your saves folder and whatnot and then she has an index which I'm noting there I'm not going to talk about it in detail I just want to sort of show it so that you can see it you can pause if you want to read it in more detail so here are the newly broken obsolete game mods at the time that I'm recording. So this is kind of late in the day when I got this, but I highly recommend you go over and check this out because obviously it'll get updated as we possibly hear of more that are broken or also as things are fixed and come off of this list and go onto the fixed list. So there's that note here. Um, because an issue that many modders updated for in an earlier patch is now fixed at EA's end, that was the note in the, the patch notes, many mods will throw mostly harmless LEs and need updating. Expect a lot of mod updates and hot fixes. A second issue this patch is a new UI feature, which means some, not all, UI mods are broken. So that's just sort of an overview from Luth about the update and the impact on the mods. So, and they also mentioned there the new game bug with the social interaction pie menu, the one that I mentioned already. It looks like a mod issue, but it is not a mod issue, which is why I have already talked about it. And it's happening to people in mod free saves, including those on console. So you can see here the list, all CC icon mods, uh, LNBM, Andrew, Sims 4 Studio, Brazen Lotus, Inventory Not Shared, Carl Gameplay Overhaul, just decked all mods. I may not be saying some of these names properly. Frank, Language Barriers, and the Show Search Info. Grumpy, um, it mentions a couple, Lot 51, Lot 51 Core Library, and most larger mods. And one thing to note about Lot 51 Core Library is that some other mods use it. So if it uses it, then it's probably not going to work because this isn't working. So you shouldn't be using this. So that will impact any mods that use that. So Lumpenow, presume all broken if you don't own all packs. That was one where there actually were a few that were updated and they cleared most of them, but then they came back and said, actually, no, that's not true. So 
if you saw that they were cleared, they came back later and said that they actually weren't, which is why this is reflecting that. Um, some height sliders and gradual growth mod from the Mycroft Jr., maybe? Roberkey Fitness Controls, Meaningful Stories. Uh, another no see, see icon, Sim Realist. You can see a list there. Spinning Plum Bobs, Expanded Mermaids. Uh, Pam Cake 1 and Mizuriyuki, more traits in CAS. I find that breaks quite often. Turbo Driver, Wonderful Whims. I also have a tweet there from Turbo Driver that says Wicked Whims is also broken. Both were broken. Twisted Mexi, Better Build By, Better Exceptions, and Tool Mod. So Better Exceptions there, it says LE on loading but working otherwise. The other two, I would think you're probably best not to use them. And obsolete, no longer needed, is because things have been fixed. So you can see that list there, and that essentially is to do with the fact that we got some bug fixes. So here are some updated game mods. So Deaderpool has a hotfix 2024.1.1. Um, it's on his uh, Tumblr and on his uh, Patreon, but at the time that Luth was updating it, it was an on Curse Forge yet. Uh, Little Miss Sam has updated a whole bunch of her mods. And uh, Lumpenow has some there that have been updated, you can see. And a few other ones, including Similarity, Simi Time, Scumbombo, and Lunar Brittany. And then, of course, UI Cheats has been updated. I shouldn't say of course. I'm saying of course because I know it's a really popular mod, hence why it's bolded as is the MC Command Center, because a lot of people use it. So I know a lot of people won't update until, like, those are updated. So they have been updated, if you're interested in that. So Sacrificial did tweet and say that the patch has broken all of their mods, so they're going to have to work on that. And here's that tweet from Turbo Driver about um, them updating their mods to work with the update. And it says, quite a lot changed, so this will take a while. So, yeah. So anyways, that uh, was the impact of the mods. Broke a lot of mods. Those couple of bugs are not very good for those who are experiencing it and it's enough that I'm a little bit hesitant to update my game. I only didn't update my game because I was doing something and then I, then I saw the impact. I'm like, maybe I don't want to update my game. And of course I have my automatic updates disabled in the EA app, which is why I haven't updated. I'd love to know in a comment down below if you have already updated your game and if you have, have you experienced any of these issues? Or if you, like me, are holding off on updating your game. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!